Hello, I'm Grayson Ottaway. Welcome back. This is Marvelous Videos. Sons of Hulk. Old Man Logan story explored. The Hulk, aka Bruce Banner, is undoubtedly one of the strongest Avengers and a popular character too. Created by Stan Lee and artist Jack Kirby, the character first appeared in The Incredible Hulk issue 1, published in May 1962. We all know about Bruce's secret that he is always angry, but little do we know about his darker aspects. He was born to an abusive father, Brian Banner, who tortured him for being smarter than the other kids of his age. Brian had also killed his mother and died in an accident. All this is usually enough to harvest mental trauma in a young kid who ironically becomes the avatar of rage. We are all aware of the evil versions of the Hulk, but none are as malevolent as the Hulk from Earth 807128. This version of Bruce Banner had kids with his cousin Jennifer Walters and formed the Hulk Gang, consisting of his children and grandchildren. Bruce, along with the Hulk Gang, ruled over California after the fall of the heroes and extorted money from its residents in the name of Rent. Although Hulk had different offspring and kids from different realities, these from Earth 807128 were cannibalistic and no more than goons, thriving over weak and financially disturbed families. They all acted on Bruce Banner's instruction and spread terror throughout Hulkland. In today's video, we'll explore more about the Hulk's offspring and their vicious and evil ways, as shown in the Old Man Logan story arc. Before we get into our explanation, a very small request. If you like our content, please support this channel by subscribing. Small click for you, but for us, means a lot. Thanks so much. Let's roll. Insane and tragic story of Old Man Logan explored. Hulk's offspring, who made notable appearances in the Old Man Logan story arc, were Charlie, Bo, Otis, Bobby Joe, Rufus, Woody, Elrod, Eustace, and Luke Banner. They were ruthless and mostly engaged themselves in tormenting or eating their victims. Created by Mark Miller, Steve McNiven, and Dexter Vines, the Old Man Logan story arc spread across Wolverine Volume 3, Issue 66, to Wolverine Old Man Logan Giant Size, Issue 1. The plot is based on the reality of Earth 807128, where all heroes are dead, with a few living in shadows in fear. The story begins with an old Logan, signifying that his quick healing abilities are no more prevalent. It has been 50 years since the heroes of the Earth were eliminated. Since then, Logan had become a pacifist and lived with his wife Maureen, his son Scotty, and daughter Jade on a plot of land in Sacramento. Sacramento was early up a part of Canada, but after the end of all heroes, it was owned by Hulk and known as Hulkland. In this reality, Hulk had an incestuous relationship with Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, which resulted in numerous Hulk-like offspring. These offspring, known as the Hulk Gang, were ruthless when it came to robbing money in the name of rent from the inhabitants of their land. Old Logan has been facing financial turmoil and barely made enough money to sustain his family. He's shown to be on his farm one day, where he starts having visuals of himself sitting on a railway track. He's soon snapped out of it by his son Scotty, who then informed him that their family tractor is out of order and needed a new engine. Logan sat and discussed this with his wife and hopelessly assured them that he would be figuring something out. The kids proposed to their parents to sell their toys as they barely get time to play, but Logan objects and states that they are not going to sell their toys for money. After the kids go to bed, Maureen asked Logan why he was so worried about the rent as this was the first time in 20 years that they'd failed to make the payment. But Logan knew more about how things worked in the present day. The landlords were extremely sceptical about showing themselves as weak, so they ruthlessly dealt with defaulters, sometimes even killing them. In two days, the Hulk gang, which included Miss Banner, Otis Banner, and Charlie Banner, arrived at their location and taunted Logan by calling him Wolverine, the title that he had discarded long ago. Otis and Charlie declare that they are now going to pay
punish Logan, to which Logan imagines himself ripping apart the two Hulks, but then accepts the punishment of being beaten to a pulp by Otis and Charlie. They continue beating him until his kid, Scotty, pointed a shotgun at them, to which they laughed and left. Whilst leaving, they mentioned that the next month, Logan would have to pay double the amount of rent, or they would kill everyone in his family. In the next scene, we see Logan all bandaged and resting in his bed, and beside him, his old friend from the Avengers, Hawkeye. Hawkeye was blind, and offered Logan to be his navigator, while he travelled to the East Coast to deliver a package within two weeks in exchange for $500. Logan rejected the offer, but later accepted it, as he desperately needed money to protect his family from the Hulk. The next morning, Logan gave a heartfelt goodbye to his family, and left on their journey in the spider buggy. Their destiny was to reach the President's Quarter, and New Babylon, which was a long west to extreme east through Hulkland, the Kingdom of the Kingpin, and Doom's Lair. As they travelled through different towns and places, Hawkeye kept giving Logan updates on what happened in the past 50 years, until Logan stopped the spider buggy being confused about his route. According to him, they were supposed to be in San Francisco, but there were mostly barren lands with remains of old buildings for miles. He doubts if the navigation system is working fine, but Hawkeye assures him that it is fine and they are right in the middle of the Union Square and facing the market streets. Hawkeye used the car's headlights and spotted mud-covered creatures staring at them. They were the Moloids, earthly creatures that have been rumoured to be a response of the planet's immune system after the human population reached 8 billion. They pulled down buildings to the ground and slaughtered their inhabitants. They've swallowed several cities in Asia and Europe and are presently in America. The Moloids cannot see in light, and so Logan and Hawkeye are unharmed. Hawkeye enters one of the buildings, but Logan hesitates, to which Hawkeye says that he has nothing to worry about, with the Wolverine beside him. Logan responded reluctantly that he is no longer the Wolverine, and his name was Logan. As the duo looks for survivors, they get attacked by the Ghost Riders, who attempt to steal their package. Logan tried stopping them, but couldn't as they got hold of him. One of the Ghost Riders beats him up viciously, but Logan refuses to fight. In a split second, an arrow goes through the Ghost Rider's head. It was Hawkeye who had located the rider by hearing his voice. The remaining Ghost Riders charged, but with the sound that they made, Hawkeye killed each and every one of them. He is disgusted by Logan's extreme pacifism, but also curious about why the once lethal superhero would not attack. He asked Logan what they had done to whom, to which he replied that he had been completely broken mentally. They reached Las Vegas, which was then known as Hammer Hill. It was ruled by Kingpin, and was considered one of the most popular places in America. It was a place where everyone would come to pray for superheroes to return. The spot where Mjolnir landed was even considered sacred. While the two strolled across the place, they met Ultron 8, who asked Hawkeye if he had Tonya's message. Tonya Parker was Peter Parker's youngest daughter, and Hawkeye's third ex-wife, with whom he even had a girl named Ashley. The message was about Ashley, who had previously formed a super team and tried taking down Kingpin, for which he had been captured and would soon be executed. While Hawkeye agreed to save his daughter, Logan was hesitant to be a part of it. He accompanied Hawkeye in his venture only for the money he had offered, and did not want anything that could trouble him or his family later. However, he later agreed to drive Hawkeye to save his daughter, when he promised him double payment. They travelled to Salt Lake City, where most of the residents were attending the execution of Ashley's cohorts, Punisher and Daredevil in the Rice Eccles Stadium. Punisher and Daredevil were eaten alive by pet dinosaurs of Kingpin, which were imported from Savage Land, and the crowd cheered and celebrated. Meanwhile, Hawkeye plans to crash through the building where Ashley is kept and save her. They did manage to rescue Ashley, who then killed Kingpin and declared herself the new ruler of the land. To prove her strength and ferocity, she turned to Hawkeye and was almost about to kill him when Logan and the spider buggy managed to save him and they escaped. However, it was far from being over as Ashley, aka Spider Girl, ordered her men to go after them and soon Logan and Hawkeye were chased by at least 50 cars and even some raptors. Fortunately, just before they could catch the two, the ground collapsed, swallowing the entire place. It was the Moloids and they'd soon devoured everyone except Logan and Hawkeye who'd managed to climb out of the chasm with the help of the spider buggy. The two continued on their way, with Hawkeye being slightly disturbed 
about how things turned with his daughter. They passed through Paste Pot Creek, Wyoming, which was then the home of the imported dinosaurs Electroville, and through South Dakota, where Mount Rushmore had the face of the new president of the United States carved out. We also glimpsed the hostless Venom symbiote, watching Logan and Hawkeye pass by. They reach Iowa and stop for a drink in a bar, where Logan confessed that the old version of him, Wolverine, was dead, and at present he only cared about his family. He got triggered by one of the bartender's jokes and stormed out of the place, where Hawkeye begged him to share his side of the pain or what happened the night before the heroes fell. Logan agreed and began narrating his story. That night there were innumerable distress calls in the X mansion from the Avengers, S.H.I.E.L.D., Fantastic Four and Wakanda before an explosion in the mansion took place, killing Jubilee. Soon, Absorbing Man, Blob, Bullseye, Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, Claw, Lady Deathstrike, Mr. Hyde, Mr. Sinister, Omega Red, Sabretooth, Scorpion, Shocker, Silver, Samurai, Strife, and Titanium Man emerged and attacked Wolverine altogether. Wolverine fought them and killed every last one of them, but only realized that it was one of Mysterio's tricks that made him kill all his teammates. All this while, Mysterio not only tampered with the visuals, but only smell as Wolverine could not even recognize his friends. He turned around and saw that he had killed Beast, Cannonball, Colossus, Cyclops, Forge, Gambit, Havoc, Iceman, Jubilee, Longshot, Nightcrawler, Polaris, Psylocke, and Storm. Driven with guilt and pain, Wolverine left sobbing and crying through the forest where the animals ran away from him. Although he would not die that easily, he lay down in front of a freight train as a form of penance. With this, Logan concluded his story and stated that this was the reason why he now chose to die. The journey continues, and they cross Dwight's toll the next day. Dwight was a young man who got hold of Ant-Man's helmet and used it to signal ants and devour passers-by who refused to pay a toll. They too paid the toll and travelled further. Once they reach Illinois, they get chased by the Venom symbiote bonded over to a T-Rex. Elsewhere, Emma Frost is shown to be watching over them, who sends Black Bolt to drive off the creature with his voice. Black Bolt, Logan and Hawkeye were then teleported to the mutant Forbidden Quarter and Logan was shocked to see Emma Frost alive and young. Emma told them that she was presently the most powerful psychic alive and even the place they were in was a visual implanted in their minds by her. She also knew what was in Hawkeye's package but chose to keep it a secret. Her team fixed the Spider Buggy 1 which Hawkeye and Logan left for their destination. They finally reached New Babylon and the contents of the package are revealed. It contained 99 vials of Super Soldier Serum for Tobias, the leader of the East Coast Rebellion, who intended to create the new Avengers to oppose the villains by injecting the 99 vials into their members. Hawkeye asked for a sample for himself and wanted to join the team when Tobias's men shot down Logan. All this while Tobias was working for the government and all this was to find and kill Hawkeye. Hawkeye refused to beg and finally got shot between the eyes. His men then picked up the two bodies and handed them over to their president, Red Skull, at the White House. Red Skull congratulated Tobias for his efforts and handed him over his reward for killing Hawkeye and obtaining the Super Soldier Serum vials. While Tobias and his men vow over the iconic pieces Red Skull had obtained from the fallen hero, Logan's bullet holes get healed and begin beating the life out of Tobias and his men. Red Skull sealed the room and mocked Logan for choosing the life of a pacifist and called him a coward. While Red Skull took the ebony blade, Logan took Captain America's shield to defend himself and eventually killed Red Skull. By then, the guards outside were trying to blow a hole into the sealed room and to fight back. Logan chose to don Iron Man's armor and flew away at top speed with the money. The suit kept warning him about the depleting fuel, but Logan insisted on flying as far as he could go. After a while, he crashed in the middle of a desert and continued his journey home on the road. Logan finally reached Sacramento after 36 hours, only to find the news of the Hulk gang killing his family from his neighbor Donovan. Logan found their broken bodies in their room and finally snapped out. Donovan reminded him that their corpses needed a good Christian burial, but Logan went all quiet. Donovan asked Logan if he heard, to which Logan replied, my name is not Logan, bub, and popped out his claws. This is where the story takes its climax. Logan, all this while, had disowned his 
wild and aggressive nature. He'd given up fighting and just wanted to live the rest of his days with his family. Hulk and his gang took all that away and now he has drifted away from the regular Logan to the vicious and feral Wolverine. Without wasting any time, Wolverine begins gutting and cutting up members of the Hulk gang one after the other. He killed two of them while they were washing off blood in the nearby watering hole. He then killed a handful of them at Sonny Stark's bar. Finally, after murdering every Hulk gang member viciously and ruthlessly, Wolverine reached Bruce Banner's lair. Bruce is old, yet still immensely strong. It was stated that after he was exposed to the high amount of radiation owing to the nuclear blast in Canada, he went insane. But all that did not matter, as the epic fight and the climax were about to begin. Before transforming into the Hulk, Bruce mentioned that he was bored ruling as a landlord and had killed Logan's family in hopes of getting Logan into fighting him. The fight continues briefly and Old Man Hulk eats Wolverine alive. However, this turned out to be one of his biggest mistakes as Wolverine healed inside his body and tore his way out, killing Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk. The Marvelous Verdict The Old Man Logan story, parts of which were adapted in 2017's Logan movie, had a lot to tell throughout its run. Red Skull had learned that the team of superheroes could be defeated with organized attacks, and he did. He did not toil himself chasing the strongest ones, but the ones with the strongest minds. The rest fell off like a deck of cards. The team of villains did the worst for Wolverine. They kept him alive, but broke him apart from within. Wolverine's earlier healing abilities showed us that he could heal back from trauma and pain, which he did after killing Jean Grey or losing his friends. However, this time he could not and gave up fighting. In critical crises, he chose to die rather than taking any more souls. Hulk had gone insane, not sure if all the bottled up trauma and rage made him choose his path or just the nuclear war in California. His offspring are a big problem to the people living in California. Big, strong, green, evil Hulk-like characters manifested the land and renamed it Hulkland. Hawkeye is also alive, but regrets not being killed like the other Avengers. He questions the reasons for his existence and thinks that the villains considered him useless and a joke for which they never bothered to take care of him. Despite living a life he never thought would be worth living, he had a hero inside. All his efforts were only to get back superheroes and purge the world of villains. The story arc is one of the most beautifully written stories and gives a very vivid understanding of how bad things can go along with a very important note that if organised, the villains can also take over and triumph. With this, we come to the end of our video. Please do share your views in the comments below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thank you.